Today I'm down at the Acropolis to talk to you guys about all of the changes that are happening to the entrance here at the Acropolis and to many of the other archaeological sites here in Greece in 2024. And a lot of these changes happened because last summer there were huge lines for getting into the Acropolis. Not only were the lines super long, it was during a heat wave. So the Greek government decided they just didn't want people to be out suffering for so long in the heat. Back in September, they announced that there would be timed ticket entrance possibilities. So you could go online and book your ticket in advance to have a timed ticket. That's what I'm here to do today. I haven't been up here in ages, so I thought because of all these changes, I would actually go in and walk around and explain to you all of the changes that are happening while I'm walking around. So my ticket was from 9 to 10, meaning I can enter from 8.45 to 10.15. And so it's a little after 9 o'clock this morning, and there are already lots of tour groups. So <laughs> let's go up to the top. This is what my timed ticket looks like that I printed out myself. So this is the ticket part, this left section, and at the top you get a map. Um, so I don't know if you need to print it out. You could probably scan it on your phone because there is this QR code, but to be on the safe side, I decided to print it. I will tell you that I'm kind of regretting booking the 9 a.m. ticket because all of these people are in here. I, I came by yesterday to see if you could still book a ticket, just buy a ticket like when you walk up, and you could. And there was no line for either one of them. Like people, there were maybe four or five people waiting to buy a ticket and there was no line for the timed ticket. Now it seems to be moving fairly quickly because it's, you know, a tour group, but wow. If you're watching this and you think this is crowded, keep in mind it is only March 22nd and the season has not technically started. <clears throat> and that's why they implemented the timed ticket. So there are two big changes that are happening in 2024. And the first thing is that the combination ticket where you could get into the Acropolis and several other sites in Athens, including the Agora, the Roman Agora, and Hadrian's Library is going away. So you will no longer be able to buy the combination ticket as of April 1st. Um, the other thing that people who live here or come here frequently in the winter will want to know is that the reduced price to get in in the winter is also going away. So this is the last couple of days of the 10 euro entrance, part of the reason that I wanted to come here today. And so instead of it here being the reduced entrance in the winter, there will be two free days a month in the winter. It will now be the first and third Sunday of the month in the winter instead of there being the reduced ticket. So not great news if you come to Greece in the winter, not great news if you wanted to come and do the combination ticket. Um, overall, I, I understand why they're doing it, but it, it kind of hurts if you come here a lot and you wanna visit the Acropolis every time you come. Do you see this beautiful creature sitting here next to me? Actually, I sat down next to him. Apparently, his name is Dionysus, and he's here every day in this spot sitting, according to one of the tour guides. I suddenly became part of a tour. <laughs> anyway, so um, many of the cats are becoming famous here in Athens. Okay, another tour guide said her name is Meli and is the daughter of Dionysus. I, you know, you're gonna get a different story probably by everybody that walks by. Anyway, so the guards feed her apparently, so I feel better about that. I thought I would sit here for a while and let all of the tour groups go by, but they just keep coming. So I think I'm gonna have to move on. Um, I, I don't know what the summer is gonna be like in terms of crowds, so if you're not coming on a tour group, maybe getting here first thing in the morning is not the best idea, although it does open at 8 a.m., so you could try that. There are definitely people who have walked past me going out, so they've been here at 8, and so that's always a possibility. Or you come like an hour and a half, two hours before close, which in the summer is, I believe, an hour before sunset.
This change to the combination ticket isn't just to the combinations here in Athens, it's all over Greece. So there are some in Crete and there are some near Naplio and all of the combination tickets are going away. As I mentioned, there is also a change coming to 2025 and that is the entrance to the Acropolis and many of the other sites will go up in price. The price for the Acropolis will now be 30 euros instead of 20 and that will be the price year round. The entrance that I came in in is the south entrance. It is the entrance that is closest to the metro station, the Acropolis metro station, and the Acropolis Museum. So if you are wondering where I came in and why you're not seeing this right away, that's why. This is the main entrance. I like to come in on the south side because it's usually less busy. Maybe not today. Um, and then usually what I do is go out through the main entrance. So when I leave, I will show you what that looks like. Something that I want to mention that a few people have said out loud when they walk by me today on the way up here is that it's very slick. So you need to make sure you're wearing good shoes. Don't wear flip-flops up here in the summer. You'll probably slip and fall. One of the reasons I wanted to come up here is because part of the changes that they've been making is to try to make the site more accessibility friendly. So that's why there is this concrete pavement and it's a bit controversial, I'll tell you. And yes, you're gonna hear some construction up here possibly if you're not here in the summer because they're always doing work, making sure that this stays, this place stays up. The concrete path doesn't seem to go all the way around. Like usually I walk that way and go around the backside and I don't see that. So I'm gonna walk over there and see. I can see that it is this side, but this side seems more crowded. Yes, yeah, so it seems that the paved area is really just on that one side. There is some pavement up here, but that was already like that before. So if you come and you have trouble walking, you're going to have to stick to the one side. A couple of other things I wanted to mention about the tickets. I'm going to link to the official website down in the link below. But the caveat to booking your ticket there is they are not refundable or changeable. So if your plans are still a little bit mm, wishy-washy, <laughs> you might consider booking a tour uh, through a tour company where they book the tickets for you um, and then you'll get a nice tour while you're up here. I will link to a company uh, that does that here. Um, and the reason for that is if you need to make a change, they can do that. They can make changes to your ticket uh, because they can put you in any tour group. They buy the tickets in bulk, so it's kind of not refundable, probably. Now, some of them are, but um, you can at least change the day. As I came around the corner, I could see that the path started again, so you can go half of the way around uh, on the concrete path. In case you were wondering, there are toilets up here. If you see over there by this building, there's stairs, you go down the stairs and there are toilets down there. One more thing I wanna mention when you're in an archeological site here in Greece, not just here at the Acropolis, but please don't sit on the monuments. Sitting on these ruins here are okay, but don't sit on things that have been roped off. Don't try to climb up there. You will get yelled at. <laughs> they will blow a whistle. The other thing that you don't want to do is pick up any stones off the ground. Uh, it is considered part of the site and you can't take it with you. And you will also probably get yelled at and have the whistle blown at you. Um, if you do try to take things with you and they catch you, you can be arrested. It seems to only be getting busier. It's about 10.30 in the morning now. So <laughs> I think it might be time for me to start to make my way out and give you guys uh, a look at the main entrance uh, to the Acropolis and then kind of show you uh, where you're gonna come out if you, if you enter where I entered on the south entrance. Quick stop before I exit is I realized that I can walk by and show you where the elevator comes up at here. Now I will tell you, 
the one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that if it's a very, very windy day, they will not run the elevator because it's pretty much a vertical up and down. It's not like a gentle slope or anything and it's just exposed on the outside. Obviously there are glass and everything, you know, to protect you, but it's just on the side of the hill. The main ticket booth for the main entrance here is just beyond there, and then you walk up the path to get in this way. So it is slightly different to go in than it is to come out if you come in from this main north entrance. Here is the ticket office, and I did find the accessible bathroom, but it is definitely not accessible because you have to go downstairs to get to it. As you can see, you go here, you buy your ticket, you walk up this path, and that's the entrance to get in from this main entrance. There are also two electronic tick machines over here that you could buy your ticket at, and it looks just like the website did. I can't really show you on the camera because it's reflective to protect the screen. I hope this was helpful for you guys coming in 2024 and potentially 2025. If there are any updates to the website, if the tickets for April 1st uh, open up, then I will make sure to come back and leave a comment below so that you know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.